Hey guys, I'm Roland with Mobile Geeks and we're right here with HTC in Munich. And what we have right here is a LG Nexus 4 from Google and an HTC One. That's the device who was that was formerly known as HTC M7, which is now being rebranded or marketed as the HTC One, and that's it. There's no M7 in the name, it's just the HTC One. Um, what I want to do is a little comparison of the both devices because they're quite the same size. They both have 4.7 inch screens, they're both quad core phones. The difference is though the HTC M7 or HTC One has a new Snapdragon 600 processor and my Nexus 4 only has a, the old one, S4 Pro, also a Snapdragon but the old version. Um, what I'm gonna try to do is actually I'm gonna install Quadrant Benchmark on here in a second. I just need to find it. Uh, let me see. Where's the Play Store? There you are. And then I'll try and show you how the devices stack up against each other. There's some traffic on the network right now. Um, while my phone downloads the stuff, I'll actually show you the hardware in comparison. So the LG Nexus has a 1.3, no, 1.9 megapixel camera on the front. The HTC has a 2.1 megapixel camera on the front. Uh, up here, that's the speaker grill, and on the Nexus up there too. But on the HTC, they have integrated a speaker bar on the bottom too because it has something called um, boom sound, which is supposed to be louder than the iPhone. It's about 93 decibel, I think I read. And yeah, this thing is really loud, I can tell you, but I can't really show you, show it to you right now because there's a meeting in the other room. Um, let's take a quick look around. As you see, as you might can see, I don't know if you can really see that in the video, they're quite the same thickness. I think the Nexus is 9.4 millimeters thick, while the uh, new HTC is at 9.3 millimeters, though it tapers down on the side to only four millimeters. So the Nexus seems a little bulkier. Um, on the bottom, on the HTC there, this right here is a little mic. Right next to it, we have a micro USB port same down here on the Nexus 4. On the sides we have the power button on this one. This right here is the SIM card slot and on the other side there's no power button but the volume rocker made of aluminum and that's the volume rocker on the Nexus 4. On the back we have something special on the HTC One which is a so-called ultra pixel camera. Basically it has way bigger pixels than a typical sensor that you would find in the Nexus. Uh, the Nexus has an 8 megapixel camera but uh, the pixels on the HEC One are supposed to be more than or close to twice as big as on the Nexus 4 which as HTC says it, is supposed to mean that you can catch more light with the f2.0 lens on the uh, HTC One, so you can shoot better in the dark, which compared to the S3 works really well, and on the Nexus 4 I haven't really got a comparison yet, because there's no time for that. Um, the Nexus has, has this glittery uh, glass back, which is, I think, gonna break pretty soon, or pretty fast if you drop it. It's got a plastic rim, and there's Gorilla Glass cover on the front. Um, that's a nice finish. I have the protection foil that it came with on here, so it looks kind of messy right now. But good looking phone though. Uh, but the HTC One is also a good looking phone because this has, it has this foam aluminum body, which is made from one piece of aluminum, taking 150 hours. It's glued and, and melted and whatever. They're using a lot of techniques to come up with this cover or the back cover or the phone itself, like the whole casing. Um, there's a tiny little plastic strip up here behind which the camera, uh, the, the, 
the camera, uh, the antenna sits and there's a noise cancelling mic right there. Um, on the bottom there's another plastic strip that's kind of a design element on this new phone and HTC says they're doing a lot in the software which I'm not really able to show you right now but on top there's another special thing this is the power button of the HTC One but another thing they do is actually that's an IR blaster integrated into the the button so you can actually remote control your TV or whatever device you like and there's some smart software in there so you can not only control Sony devices as Sony does it or whoever um, but you can pretty much control any TV you like and you can come up with your own um, uh, program plans and everything. The main difference between the two devices is the display or kind of is the display except for Pretty much everything else. It's a 4.7 inch screen on both devices though the Nexus only has a um, 720p screen so uh, the HTC One has a 1080p Super LCD 3 screen which is really bright and crisp good looking um, and it's pretty much awesome it's it's bright and yeah works really well. Um, let me just install my quadrant here. I hope it works out a bit faster than I first experienced. Um, another special thing about the HTC One is this home screen. It's kind of a tiled interface. It looks kind of like um, uh, a live tile interface on Windows Phone, but it really isn't. Basically it's a feed of social stuff you get. It's news. It's updating when you scroll up. Um, there's there's calls in it. Pretty much it's a feed of everything that's coming down from the internet and you just have to scroll down and it goes on and on and on forever. If I had set up some um, appointments and everything they would be in here too. Um, you can get rid of it. You can basically cut down on it as much as you possibly can like take out all the sources and everything. But there's still some home screens for you to put your apps on. Um, but you can't really deactivate it. It's part of HTC Sense 5, which is in here. As you see, it's a little different than the, or it's pretty much different than the uh, the old HTC Sense 4. It's got those graphics I graphics up here that are more um, purified. There's, it's not as uh, natural looking or whatever. It's more of a stylish design that's in here. Uh, once you get over the HTC customizations, you end up in a typical um, app drawer like you know it from any other Android device. And if you want to, you can basically switch between the two home screens, or there's not really a home screen, but you can set this up as your home screen. And if you don't want to use the new view, you just hit this button on here and it switches to this. Uh, once you get back to the home screen, which is not the home screen anymore. They're calling it um, Blink Feed, I think. Yeah, because everything, is, it's like the blink of an eye. That's what they're marketing it as. Um, works pretty well. It's basically RSS feeds plus a lot of other feed stuff that's coming down from their server. Um, you can add your own sources and everything. So yeah, you can pretty much do what you like with it. In the end, I like the phone a lot because it's looks good it has a nice finish I like the metal back uh, it's really well built there's a couple of spots on this one where it's the plastic seems to be bulging from like from this rim in here but that's probably because it's one of the first production units or at least they're saying this is a production unit but I actually think it's not more kind of a one of the first test runs or whatever um, what else is there I think there's a 2.1 million pair, 2,100 million pair hour battery in here. This one is a 2.3, 2,300. And let me just see if I can run my quadrant benchmarks right here. So what we're gonna do is uh, run the full benchmark on both devices. If I actually manage to find it, um, and then we'll.
we'll see who comes up first. Uh, one, two, three, and go. You can already see from the um, start of the benchmark that the HTC One seems to be way faster because it can't. My Nexus Four can't really keep up with that. Seems like the HTC is pacing ahead by far. And as soon as we're done, we're gonna see what it says. You can see we have a score of close to 12,000 points. I actually managed to get 12,000 something in Quadrant Benchmark on the HTC One. And I'm just gonna try and show you the value. And here we have my trusty old Snapdragon 4 based Nexus 4. Yeah. 